Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today and today's tutorial is a little bit of a slow sewing tutorial. I'm going to show you how to stitch these decorative open seams. This is sometimes called a bridge seam. It's also referred to as fagoting, F-A-G-O-T-I-N-G. And this type of seam can be hand sewn as I did on this top or it can be approximated on a sewing machine. I'm going to show you both methods today. And I used it on a sleeve hack to this Lashai top pattern. So I'm going to have a link below to a blog post where you can find out more information about this pattern and how I hacked the sleeves to get this look that I did. So you want to take a piece of the paper or water soluble stabilizer that you're using and you want to draw a line like down the center of where your seam is going to be. And then you want to do a line about a quarter inch, a little bit less, maybe like 3 16 to either side of that line. So you have three markings like that. Then you want to take your fabric and you want to press down the seam allowance plus whatever extra you added here so that this will end up being the same intended um, length. And then you're going to want to line your fabric up to those outer lines. And you also may want to hem or finish this edge. I'm going to leave that finishing technique up to you. So line these up. Then what we want to do is baste this fabric so that it stays in place there. So I'm going to baste my folded edge of the fabric. I want that right against the line I drew on my water soluble stabilizer, one of the outer lines. And I'm just going to baste this in place to hold it. To hand stitch this, start with your thread. Make sure that it is knotted on the end and then bring your thread up through one folded edge until you've got the knot. You want to tuck the knot back under the fold. Then you want to come across diagonally and you want to come up with your needle again just on the edge of the fold. And I like to look at my basting stitches and kind of like use them to help me space these stitches evenly. So you come up diagonally and then pass your needle under that center thread before you come up diagonally on the next side. Do so you see how I've created a little loop and then I'm going like every two basting stitches. So I'm going to come back up here. And you just want to pull this tight enough to where those are taut. But you don't want them to distort the shape. Okay, and again, take your needle under that thread before you come up one, two, on the next side. And then of course at the end of your seam you are going to want to knot your thread. And then you have that decorative stitch so all we have to do now is remove the stabilized backing. Once I have my two pieces basted on either side of the lines that I've drawn, I'm going to select the stitch that I want to use on my machine and set it to the widest that my machine will go. 
And I'm going to switch my threads out to a thicker thread. And I want to do this on both top and bottom because the bobbin thread will be visible. And then I'm going to slowly stitch in between these and that center line I drew, I want to keep it centered with my presser foot. Here is what it looks like straight out of the machine. You can see the stitching there. We'll go and wash the stabilizer out of it and pull out the basting stitches and then you can see what this looks like. Okay, so I have my hand sewn one and I have my machine sewn one. I've removed the basting stitches on them and I'll, I do still have the water soluble stabilizer on the back of each. So at this point what you need to do is rinse that water soluble stabilizer out. And it just, it kind of turns into this like mushy jelly like stuff and then it dissolves. You can definitely trim off some of that extra if you don't want to deal with it. Okay, here is my machine sewn sample and Actually, this didn't get stitched onto the hand sewn one, so I don't need to do water soluble there. You can see the difference. The stitching is much smaller and much tighter on the machine. I could have done smaller and tighter stitching on the hand sewn one as well. Um, obviously, one takes a lot longer than the other, so it's kind of up to you which, which you prefer, which look, and um, how much space you want there in between the stitches.